At times, you may want the users to be able to upload an Excel file, which the application then processes to create records. Some people refer to it as bulk import. Let's see how we can do it in our systems. Now, this is my Service Studio where I have created a reactive web application. The application doesn't have much at the moment. So we'll start by uh, creating the entity, which is where I want to create it from an Excel sheet and I'll tell you why. Now, these are all the customer records I have. They have headers here and some data inside. And most importantly, the sheet name is customers as well. Now, from this Excel sheet, I should be able to create an entity very fast just by dragging and dropping. Now, what the platform has done is quickly build this entity for me with all the attributes and it has also created my structure. What you didn't see yet is it also has a, a bad job built in here, bootstrap customers under the process tab, which is linked to the bootstrap customer action. Action is the logic. Okay. This whole job is uh, scheduled to run at when I click on publish. Okay. Now let's take a look at the bootstrap customers logic as well. There's a logic where we are looking into retrieving the list of existing customers. If it's empty, uh, then we execute the convert from Excel sheet and we create those records one by one. Why I'm showing you this is uh, because this is a very handy way of creating and processing the Excel file quite fast. Uh, follow the instruction. So in this case, uh, first of all, let's get rid of the job. We are going, we are not going to need it. Second thing is for the bootstrap customers, the function, we're going to modify it. First of all, we'll add an input parameter to it. Let's call it file. So in our case, instead of uh, a job or the drag and drop giving us the Excel sheet, we will supplying this file content from a file upload control. And we'll also get rid of this validation. Uh, let's say in our case, we are okay to create more and more records repeatedly. So I'll get rid of this condition. Now, in this step, convert from Excel, this is where we'll switch the file to the file input variable. This step itself made this whole uh, bootstrap customers a reusable piece of logic which can be reused now to create the customer from anywhere, right, by using a file. Thereafter, what it happens, just to walk you through, in the assignment record, uh, the input, uh, the local field customer record is assigned the value which is where each of these records because of the for loop is assigned a value. And in the end, it uses the create customer, the CRUD operation, which came directly from the entity here. And in the create customer, uh, the customer record is passed on and it goes into a loop to create all the records. Uh, finally, uh, that uh, ends with the last record in Excel sheet. Okay. Now uh, our logic is set. So just to recap, we have a bootstrap customers, which we have modified to look something like this. We are expecting to receive a file and then thereafter it will do its job. By the way, in case you want to do certain transformation, you know, you can write whatever you want in so many steps in here, right? Like compare, only update, not delete, like some, some of those things can be implemented also here. Uh, for me, in my case, what is left for me to do is build a screen. Basically, this is from where somebody can upload a file. Uh, file. Okay. Uh, now, first of all, we'll have the upload widget. In case you're interested to uh, store the file also in database, uh, there's another video on my channel uh, for the file upload. Uh, you can go ahead and watch it to understand how we can store these files in any database. In this case, uh, right now, what I will do is directly process the files. Okay, so let's see how I'll do it. So file upload control will assign to a variable that will hold the content of this control and uh, same thing for the name as well thereafter on the page we can have a button the one that triggers the upload and processing like process in my case i'm just processing it and then uh, just to see whether our function our screen all those things are working fine or not let's uh, build a list at the bottom that shows us the uh, the customers in there next uh, in the process step here we'll double click to create an action and this is where we are now going to use the bootstrap customers. You will notice immediately it prompt me for the file parameter because that's what we made an input parameter. And this is where we'll pass the variable that we have attached to the file upload control. Thereafter, imagine it will create all these records. It will process the file. 
what we can do is refresh our data on the screen okay and perhaps display a message saying that the file has been processed file has been processed let me take a look if everything looks okay i think it should be okay let's go ahead and publish While it's publishing, let me summarize again. Uh, what we did is use the default bootstrap function in our systems. We just modify it to help us with the upload and processing part. And now it's ready. I'll go ahead and launch it. Now what we need quickly is a file. Let's go ahead and create a copy of my customers. I don't want to spoil it. Customers copy. And instead of having those thousands of records here, let me get rid of maybe all these so we only have three quick save close let's go ahead and test it file upload customers copy and the moment i click on process our function kicks in we have the records and uh, the message uh, telling me that file has been processed thanks for watching